In 1350, the Bichot family's stronghold was established in Burgundy at chateauneuf en ossois This was the beginning of a dynasty that would include numerous members of the nobility and local elite. For six centuries, the family's coat of arms has depicted a deer and three oak trees. The deer is still a symbol of, of Albert Bichot. In 1831, Bernard Bichot founded a wine brokerage in Montelly, not far from Beaune. Six generations would succeed him, from father to son, up until the present day. Hippolyte Bichot, the son of the founder, inherited an estate made up of vineyards of great renown. In the early 19th century, he donated the famous Cuvée Blondeau plot in Volney to the hospices de Beaune. The first Albert Bichot expanded the family business in the late 19th century and settled permanently in Beaune's central St. Nicholas neighborhood in 1912. The second Albert Bichot was one of the pioneers of overseas export and expanded his business to numerous countries, including the Americas, where he headed at the end of the Prohibition and between the First and Second World Wars, crossing the Atlantic by ship and traveling through North America by train. He also traveled to Australasia, Asia, Scandinavia, all places where each day more and more wine lovers continue to discover and appreciate Albert Bichot's savoir-faire. The high quality of Albert Bichot's wines opened the door to the highly coveted circle of official suppliers to the Royal European Courts. In the second half of the 20th century, the four brothers, Bernard, Albert, Benin and Jean-Marc, continued to develop the business, notably with the construction of an aging cellar with a capacity of over 2 million bottles. Albert Bichot's wines became available in over 100 countries. This is still true today with 70% of sales outside of France. Since 1996, Albert Bichot has been in charge of this unique legacy handed down from father to son since 1831. His father, Bernard, passed on to him the values of audacity, high standards and respect. Each day he consolidates a multi-talented team and leads the still independent family business towards new challenges. It is also Iberic who has the exciting mission of maintaining the style of Albert Bichot's wines, vintage after vintage. Though they are always characterized from by their tower and the village they hail from, with each vintage, Albert Bichot strives to offer wine lovers fine, elegant, complex whites and expressive fruity weds with well-integrated tannins. For Albert Bichot, wine is a singular product symbolizing culture, history, pleasure and humanity. Burgundy's wines represent the perfect alliance between nature, man and heritage. Tasting an Albert Bichot wine offers an authentic, timeless moment of sharing and emotion to capture and discover the intense, true spirit of Burgundy, if only for an instant. Albert Bichot owns four exceptional estates with a total of 100 hectares of vines among the most prestigious crews in Appalachians, Domaine Long de Paquet in Chablais, 65 hectares, Domaine de Clofontaine in Nuit Saint-Georges, 13 hectares, Domaine de Pavillon in Pomar, 17 hectares, Domaine Adélie in Mercure, 4.5 hectares. Albert Bichot's savoir-faire is founded on respect for terroir and for nature and uses sustainable viticultural practices that are based on observation and prevention. Albert Bichot is committed to protecting this fertile land for future generations. Each estate boasts not only its own vines, but also the finest equipment for vinification and aging of the region's wines, made with grapes purchased from our partner growers. Under the direction of Alan Servo, Chief winemaker, our teams include vineyard managers who oversee viticulture and cellar masters who are responsible for the vinification and aging of the wines in our centuries-old cellars. At Domaine de Clos Fontaine, for example, we vinify and age wines from the estate's vineyards and appellations are Von Romanet, Premier Cru, Les Malconsor, for example. Côte de Nuit red wines, made with grapes purchased from our partner growers, such as our Chambol Musigny Premier Cru, Les Amoureuses. Each September, the harvest marks one of the year's highlights. This is a celebratory time, 
but also one that demands vigilance and precision. When the Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grapes have reached full maturity, they're hand-picked and quickly transported to the estates to avoid any risk of oxidation. When the grapes arrive at the winery, they are table sorted to remove any undesirable berries so that only the best are kept for our wines. Each estate's winery is designed to accommodate the harvests from the vineyards attributed to it. They combine traditional and modern techniques in order to obtain the best results. Typically Burgundian open wooden vats are temperature controlled to conduct slow, gentle vinifications. Using gravity allows us to respect the grapes to a maximum. After three weeks of vinification, the wines then begin their long period of aging. The whites are aged in a combination of stainless steel tanks and oak barrels for 12 months to preserve the freshness and minerality of our terroirs while lending the wines roundness. Oak barrel aging is longer for the reds, up to 18 months for our grand cru. Barrels of different toasts and diverse origins, Francis Troncé, Allier and Nivernais forests, for example, allow Albert Bichot to obtain great complexity at this stage. Our sole objective is to craft great wines and showcase the single vineyards they hail from. In addition to our estates, the Colbert Winery at the centre of Bone is devoted to the vinification and ageing of our regional appellations. Renovated in 2008, it replicates the savoir faire and methods that are already in place at our estates. Here also, modern and traditional techniques are skillfully combined to ensure the high quality of all Albert Bichot's wines, regardless of their appellation. It is therefore with the same meticulousness and at the same attention to detail that all of the wines that bear the Albert Bichot name are crafted. In total, Albert Bichot vinifies and ages 60% of its regional appellations. Available in over 100 countries, Albert Bichot's wines are regularly recognized at the most prestigious competitions and in the most renowned guides. Emblematic appellations and famous monopoles have contributed to the family's reputation. As one of Burgundy's most celebrated wine houses, our wines are served on the finest tables in France, as well as in over 100 other countries. It's also noteworthy that Albert Bichot has a very special relationship with the famous annual hospices de Bonne charity wine auction that has taken place on the third Sunday in November since 1859. Since 1876, Albert Bichot has bought some of the finest cuvées at the auction and since 1997, Albert Bichot has been one of the biggest buyers. Each year, the Hospices de Bone Wine Auction Weekend provides a special opportunity for Albert Bichot to welcome many of its clients and friends and to share with them its treasures along with all the conviviality Burgundy has to offer. Albert Bichot offers a wide range of wines which enable the wine lover to discover the marvellous mosaic that is Burgundy. Regional appellations, famous village appellations, prestigious premier and grand crus. There are so many occasions to celebrate the combination of exceptional terroirs and savoir-faire. Let's listen to Albert Bichot present three special wines that are representative of all Albert Bichot's savoir-faire. Our three crown jewels represent the quintessence of our savoir-faire and our style. These estate-produced wines have a unique soul. They are true gems, among the most famous of crus. Chablis Grand Cru La Moutonne, Domaine Longue de Paquis, highly concentrated minerality and an estate monopole. A very singular wine for all lovers of Grand Cru of Chablis. Then Von Romanet Premier Cru, Les Malconsorts, Domaine du Clos Frontin, a truly great wine that Burgundy alone is able to produce. A terroir wine that shows to what extent Pinot Noir is really an extraordinary varietal. And finally, our Corton Grand Cru Claude et Marichaud. This is a monopole from Domaine du Pavillon. This very tiny vineyard barely measures half an hectare and produces each year a really exceptional wine, which is structured, full of elegance and boasts fantastic aging potential.